What up guys, it's Party Blends back with another Cinematic Tutorial, and today we have a super clean mohawk fade. Now without further ado, let's get started. Comb all the hair into its natural position. This will give you a clear sight and a nice canvas to work on. Now with your trimmer, create a baseline. In this case, since it is a mohawk, we have to make sure it's circular but contour to the client's head shape. Remember not to dig in when doing so or else you will make it difficult to remove this line further throughout the cut. Now we remove everything underneath. Be patient with this step, you can irritate the skin if you angled the trimmer the wrong way. Make sure the top blade is flat on the scalp. For a cleaner look, shave down all the stubble left behind. With your preferred clipper, create a guideline following the same shape as that baseline. Notice how I don't set in my entire blade, you want to use one side of the blade if you know your guide is going to end up dropping. This will help you be precise with what it is that you're cutting. Close up the lever fully now and hit that baseline halfway through. I want you guys to know that if you learn how to properly ace this part of the blend, you will set yourself up for a beautiful haircut. It's okay if a lot of your time goes into this particular step, you eventually get faster and it'll become a breeze. Guys, you want to gradually open up the lever as you keep moving up on this guideline. Okay, with your one and a half guard on the lever fully open, create a four inch guideline. Remember to follow the same shape you've been working around. Now right above, using the number two guard open, flow through any line visible within the dark area. Next, with your half guard fully open, create a half inch guideline. With your one guard open, take out any line within the dark and light area. Don't be afraid to go up on this step, most of the darkness will stay either way.
finally, without a guard, open up the lever and hit that last visible line you're able to see. You can play around with the lever if needed. I did come back to my half guard and touched up a bit. Guys, you're always gonna have to come back to specific guards. It's never one size fits all for a haircut. Folks, the other side is the exact same thing, but make sure you put in your bass lines at the beginning of the cut, that way both sides end up looking identical. I do want to say thank you to everyone who tunes in and watches every video. We wouldn't be where we are without you, so I appreciate y'all. If you happen to be wondering where to get these smoke translucent guards, you can visit martybuns.com. For a babyless discount, you can use Marty10 on your next purchase and save a ton. If you are a beginner, there are loads of videos on the channel of different hairstyles and blends, so make sure to study them. Clip over comb all the areas you think would need a debulk, it's usually the sections where you'd see chunks of hair just flaring out. If I'm being honest, I had no idea what I was going to do in the back, so I ended up putting a V-shaped tail with a V design in the middle. I like using FX3 to set in designs, they just make it easier to see since they're so skinny and the blade is extremely exposed. As for the top portion of the head, I removed everything that would have been either dangling or made it look unproportional. I do blend in anything that I feel should be smoother with my blending shears. I 
now blow dry the hair into its natural position and style the hair using clay. I did use a bit of hair enhancements on the edges to really make that line pop when we work on the lineup. And when lining up, you want to start up in the middle and work your way off to the side. Notice how I do use my middle finger to reduce the motion of the movement. Guys, if you want to learn how to fully attack a beard, I do have a video specifically for that, so make sure you go watch it. Last but not least, polish by using a razor and hairspray the finishing product. Guys, here you have the finishing product and if you did enjoy this, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for plenty more. Again, I'm Marty Blunt and I'm out.